Good day guys and welcome to today's tropical weather discussion. In today's forecast, we'll be speaking about the potential for Invest 98L to become a major hurricane by the time it reaches islands. So guys, getting right into it, I would really like to get directly into what could um, the future of the system be because at the models, at the moment, the models are showing the potential for Invest 98L to become a strong hurricane or maybe even a major hurricane by the time it reaches the islands of Hispaniola or the Dominican Republic. Now, initially looking at it, the sea surface temperatures in that area are way above average and that will lead to the system forming into um, a strong potential hurricane that could be affecting the islands within the next couple of days or maybe within the week or so advance. So the reason why I'm very concerned about this guys, first of all, you all remember what Beryl did with the um the sea surface temperatures that were very high. And speaking about it, the sea surface temperatures are very similar to that and the models are showing that this system could rapidly intensify and speaking from my own opinion guys it's not impossible at all because the overall atmospheric conditions are conducive for development and that could lead to rapid intensification and we spoke about that in the last video as i said this scenario is not completely unrealistic if we take a look at the latest hwrf model we could clearly see that this model is forecasting that we could see the system rapidly intensify into a potential category 3 hurricane by the time it reaches the islands of Hispaniola or the Dominican Republic areas like Puerto Rico really need to pay attention to the forecast track of the system as you guys will be getting affected by this regardless of, of how strong it the models are showing that the system could potentially become a tropical depression or maybe even a tropical storm within the next 48 hours and if we take a look at the latest satellite image on this you can see that the you know the sun is going down on this system you could see that this system is organizing at a slow pace which could ramp up within the next couple of days maybe even rapidly with as it moves towards the west potentially affecting the Sarantales and the U.S. Virgin Islands. You guys really need to pay very close attention to the system as it will be moving directly towards the region. The models are showing that within the long-term forecast of this system, it will most likely become a major hurricane, but um, we're speaking about the scenario of this becoming a major hurricane before it reaches the island, which is completely realistic at this point considering the atmospheric conditions that this system will be running into it is somewhat highly conducive for development in that region the sea surface temperatures that this system is running into are near 90 degrees fahrenheit and that will lead to systems that you know rapidly intensify so if we look at the conditions in terms of wind shear and atmospheric conditions, it will be favorable for development within the next couple of days. So as Invest 98L continues on this track towards the islands, I would like to say you guys need to start making preparations because at this point in time, it is becoming very real that the system could rapidly intensify by the time it reaches the caribbean islands so as i said this is a very realistic scenario that we're dealing with at the moment if not it could become a strong category one hurricane potentially even a category two but as i said major hurricane cannot be out of the question at this point in time especially what we've seen what beryl did previously guys so do not let your guards down on Invest 98L. Impacts that this could bring towards the islands will be very high surf as this will be moving towards that area. Even if it moves far from the area, you guys will be affected by high waves, rip currents, and high surf. 
but speaking in a realistic scenario of this making a landfall directly on the island of Puerto Rico or Hispaniola and the Dominican Republic and maybe even the islands before that um, it is possible that you guys will be getting very heavy rainfalls and damaging winds from this system so guys just pay attention to the latest forecast and latest track because as I said major hurricane is not out of the question at this point so please continue to monitor this and thank you guys for watching today's video